While brainstorming ideas for my next video, I stumbled upon this cool portfolio that received awards honorable mention on January 31st. It featured some really impressive animations, but the one that stood out to me the most was this unique text effect. As you scroll, you can see the text fades in and highlights certain words, and as you continue scrolling, the letters break apart and tumble down inside the container. Just by looking at it, you can tell there is some physics applied here, making the letters fall to the bottom in such a smooth, realistic way. Now, while we have worked on similar micro projects before, we haven't done anything focused on text like this, so I thought it would be a fun challenge to tackle. After some hours of experimenting, I managed to recreate a basic yet similar effect using JavaScript and a physics library called Matter.js. In this video, I'll show you how to build this scroll-based text animation using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, scroll trigger, and Matter.js. If you enjoy this kind of content and find my work helpful, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe as well if you haven't already. And if you'd like to dive deeper and get access to the source code, check out the pro membership. The link is in the description below. Alright, let's dive into the code. We are keeping this structure super simple for this project. The layout will have three sections, the intro section, the sticky section where the animations will happen and the outro section. In the intro section, I've added a basic navbar with some placeholder text and an h1. This is just to give the page a bit of structure, you can totally ignore this part and customize it however you like. For the outro section, we'll add another h1 with some placeholder text to wrap things up. Now inside the sticky section, all we need is a simple paragraph tag with the text we want to animate. And that's it for the structure, let's move on to styling now. First, I'll start by resetting the default margins and padding for all elements and setting the box sizing to border box. For the body, I'm using the space mono font and disabled horizontal scrolling with overflow x hidden to keep things neat. Each section is set to cover the full viewport with 100 viewport width and 100 viewport height. I've added some padding and hidden any overflow to keep the design contained. The intro and outro sections are styled similarly using Flexbox to center their content both vertically and horizontally. For the intro, I'm using a light background with dark text and for the outro, a bold reddish background with some dark text to create contrast. The navbar is positioned at the top of the intro section, it spans the full width of the screen and uses Flexbox to space out the text on either side. Each nav item has uppercase text, a small font size, a rounded background to give it a button-like appearance. Now for the sticky section, the background is set to black and the paragraph text is initially black as well. This will change once we animate it. Finally, we have the character class which is key to our animation. Later, we'll split the paragraph text into individual characters using JavaScript and each letter will get this class. By setting them as inline block, positioning them absolutely and starting with zero opacity, we have full control over how each letter fades in, highlights and eventually falls during the animation. This setup will help us control each letter individually during the animation. And that's all for the basic styling. Now let's dive into the JavaScript to bring this to life. First, we'll set up smooth scrolling using Lannis. This will make the scrolling field really fluid and seamless. Once the page loads, we initialize Lannis and then connect it to scroll trigger so our scroll animations stay perfectly in sync. To keep everything running smoothly, we also hook Lannis into GSAP sticker. I'm disabling any lag smoothing to keep the animation super responsive and crisp. Now that smooth scrolling is in place, we define the words we want to highlight in our paragraph. I've created a list of some words from the text. These are the words that will stand out during the scroll and later break apart when we apply the physics. With that setup, we'll split the paragraph into individual words using the split text plugin. This lets us control each word separately during the animation, which is key for creating that smooth highlight effect and eventually breaking the words apart when we add physics. With the text split, it's time to bring in the physics engine. We are using Matter.js to handle all the realistic movement. First, we initialize the engine and set the gravity to zero since we don't want anything falling just yet. Once the engine is running, we'll create an invisible floor at the bottom of the screen. 
This will catch the letters when they eventually start falling during the animation. With the physics engine ready, we are all set to prepare the words for animation. First, the words in the paragraph are shuffled. This randomizes the order in which they'll animate, making the entire effect feel more dynamic and natural. Next, we filter out the words that need to be highlighted. These are the ones from the list we defined earlier. They will have special animations applied, like color changes and later on, the falling effect when the physics kicks in. With everything prepared, we'll move into the animation phase. To start, I'm defining a few variables to manage the animation. There is physics enabled, which will control when the physics effect is active, and last progress, which keeps track of our scroll position. I'm also creating two arrays, character elements to store each letter we create, and character bodies to hold the corresponding physics bodies. For each word that we want to highlight, we'll split it into individual characters. We grab the position of each word on the screen using get bounding client rect function, which helps us figure out exactly where to place the characters inside the sticky section. I'm also setting the word's opacity to 1 to make sure it's visible as we build the character elements. Now for every letter in the highlighted words, we create a new span element, assign it the character class and set its content to the letter. These spans are positioned absolutely so each letter appears exactly where it belongs, lining up perfectly with the original text. We calculate the width of each letter based on the word's total width, ensuring precise placement. These letters are also styled to match the color of the original word. Once the characters are in place, we move on to setting up the physics. For each letter, we create a physics body using Matter.js. These bodies are rectangles that match the size of the letters. We adjust properties like restitution for bounds, friction for how much resistance they will have, and air resistance to create a natural falling effect. At this point, the bodies are static, so the letters won't move until we trigger the physics with scrolling. Finally, we add all these physics bodies to the Matter.js world and store both the character elements and their bodies in our arrays. Now that we have set up the physics for each character, we also need a way to reset everything when the user scrolls back up. This is where the reset animation function comes in. First, we disable gravity by setting it to zero. This ensures that when we reset the animation, the letters won't continue falling. Next, we loop through each character and reset its physics properties. We make each body static again so it doesn't move and reposition it back to its original spot on the screen. We also reset the rotation and velocity to zero so there is no leftover movement from the previous animation. On the visual side, we remove any transformations applied to the characters and set their opacity to zero making them invisible. Once the characters are reset, we bring the full words back into view. Using GSAP, we animate the opacity of each word back to its full visibility giving it a smooth fade in effect. Now that we have set up the characters and physics, it's time to bring everything together with the scroll animation. We are using a GSAP timeline with scroll trigger to control how and when the animations play as we scroll. The trigger is set to the sticky section and we are pinning it in the place so the animation happens while the user scrolls through this section. Inside the timeline, we are checking the scroll progress to determine the direction of scrolling. This helps us know when to trigger the physics. When the scroll progress reaches 60% and the user is scrolling down, we enable the physics. At this point, gravity is turned on, causing the characters to fall. Before the characters start falling, we hide the original highlighted words by setting their opacity to zero. Then, we make the individual characters visible, changing their color to white, and activate the physics bodies. Each letter is given a slight random rotation and velocity so they fall in a natural dynamic way, bouncing and rotating as they hit the floor. At the same time, we fade out the non-highlighted words, leaving the focus on the animated characters. If the user scrolls back up, the script detects the upward movement. When the scroll progress goes below 60%, we disable the physics and call the reset animation function. This resets all the characters to their original positions, hides them, and brings the full text back into view, ready to replay the animation. Now that we have set up the scroll triggered animation and physics, let's add some color transitions to make the text even more engaging. We start by creating two separate phases for the color changes. The first phase transitions the text color to orange. 
For this, we use a GSAP timeline and apply the color change to all the words in the paragraph. Each word transitions to a bright orange shade and to keep things dynamic, the timing of these transitions is randomized. This gives the animation a lively scattered feel as different words change color at slightly different moments. Next, we move into the second phase where we shift the focus to the highlighted words. Before applying the color change, we shuffle the highlighted words to keep the animation feeling fresh and unpredictable. Then, we animate the specific words to transition from orange to white. Just like in the first phase, the timing for each word is randomized, creating a more natural flow. Finally, we add both color phases to the main scroll trigger timeline. The orange phase starts first, followed by the white phase. After the color transitions, we add a brief pause to let the changes settle before the physics kicks in. Finally, we need to update the physics simulation in real time. We are using an event listener that runs after each update of the physics engine. This ensures that as the physics bodies move, the corresponding characters on the screen move with them. For each character, we calculate how far it has shifted from its original position. We use this to apply correct translation and rotation to the character element. This makes sure the visual letters follow the exact motion of their physics bodies, giving us that smooth falling and bouncing effect. This continuous update keeps the animation dynamic, ensuring every character responds naturally to gravity and collisions as you scroll. And with that, our scroll triggered physics based text animation is complete. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.